After more than a year of debate on rebuilding Ryan Field, there is finally a decision tonight on plans for a new stadium at Northwestern University. Evanston City Council just passed the matter less than an hour ago. NBC5's Natalie Martinez there live outside of the City Council meeting with the results tonight. Natalie? Yeah, the vote four to four. The mayor, Mayor Biss, helped pass that and make it five to four. So that is with an amendment attached. In fact, they are still going over some of those right now. They're still uh, doing that, but hours of discussion tonight focused on amendments to protect the city. The last vote, as you probably know, was delayed. And tonight, a vote on the future of Northwestern's Ryan Field, a controversial $800 million stadium plan, appears to be moving forward now to rebuild and rezone. Residents were completely divided tonight. Some worry about any hypothetical problems that concerts might bring to the city, a hike in property taxes, selling off of zoning rights, amusement and liquor taxes, traffic and lawsuits. But others, they wish for much needed and new business that could be brought to Evanston with this. Look at how divided you are. Look how divided people are here in this room and in the city. We support six nights of concerts at the new Ryan Field, and we believe that the advantages to the city, small business owners, and the entire community far outweigh the disadvantages of a few nights. You've denied due process, ignoring, ignoring and manipulating rules and laws. And what about the compassion for the families and their children? Passing the zoning change will negatively change resident lives forever. So again, it was a vote of 4-4, the mayor passing it over the threshold. Now, they just had a short break with the Northwestern attorney, so everybody got to stretch their legs for the first time in about four and a half hours, but it does appear that they are closer to the end, although I did speak with the mayor very briefly and one council member, Reed, who said it could be a very, very long time before they're done dotting the I's and crossing the T's. So for now, we're live in Evanston. Natalie Martinez, NBC5 News. Okay. Okay, finally a vote tonight. Natalie, we appreciate it. Thank you so much.